hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great so in our previous video we saw how to update our code in the github and this is our current github repository here you can see all the files which we have created in our previous videos okay so now let's move on and test our auto update functionality all right so in order to test our auto update functionality we'll have to release our application versions so if i go inside this releases section here you will be able to see some released versions so i have released few versions for the testing purpose but i will show you how to release new version in a moment in, but in your case since you haven't released any version there will be no released version okay so now this is one of the previous repository which i have created and i haven't released any version so if i go inside the releases so here you will be able to see there is no released version and if i go inside tags and let's click on releases again and here we are getting message there aren't any released here so don't get confused even if you are saying something in this releases i'll show you how to release new version in a moment all right so let's start releasing our new version but before that i want to change few things in our current application so i want to log current application version so that is really important because when our application will auto update we'll have to check whether it is auto updated or not and the only way is to identify that is by checking the version of application so this log is going to be really important so let's say i want to log application version so i'm going to put application version all right and let's concatenate one string so now app object is the electron so now i'm going to use app module and app module will have one method get version so now this will return current application version number okay so that's pretty easy now one more change i want to make i want to subscribe one auto update event so let's put auto updater dot on and in here i want to subscribe download progress i want to track download progress because when your application is checking for update and once your up update is available it takes a decent amount of time to download latest version and while and while all this happening you must get notified some so this method will return one callback and while returning callback it will return one object as well so that object will give us information about how much is the download happened and it will give you download bytes as well as download percentage so that's really good information for us so i'm going to give this object name let's say progress track and i'm going to log the entire object all right i think that's enough and just for the safer side i'm going to put one log dot info and let's put simple text message so in case if this object is not available at least we'll have some hard coded value so that's pretty much it mm, okay so it seems good to me so now let's go inside package.json file and as i said earlier just for the testing purpose i have released few version so i'm going to start new version so let me change it with version 3.0.0 so now in order to check auto update functionality we'll have to create two versions of application so we'll have to so if i create version 3.0.0 so in that case i have to create another version 4.0.0 or maybe or anything which is greater than 3.0.0 and that application i will release and i will publish and i'll keep version 3.0.0 installed in my, in my local machine so that whenever i'll open version 3.0.0 it will automatically check whether the new version is released in a github releases if the new version is released it will start auto updating new version all right i hope you have, i hope you are pretty much clear with this once again let me show you inside the github releases there is no version with version 3.0.0 all right so let me run one command and if you want to see that command command is package so now it is doing up 
so first of all this command will create new build using electron hyphen builder and then it will publish that build to the github so let push and so let's use npm run package so now this command will take decent amount of time because so okay so it is progressing now and by this time you will be able to see there is a dist folder all right guys so as you can see up to this stage our build is created so now this thing is nothing but it is updating new release in a github as soon as this command will complete we'll be able to see new version in our github repository all right so our command is completed successfully let's go inside the github releases and let me refresh this okay so here you will be able to observe that new version is released all right so similarly let's release version 4.0.0 so that we can observe so that we can test our auto update so let me go here and put 4.0.0 and i'm not going to make any changes in the application so let's run this command again okay meanwhile this command is running so let's go inside the dist folder and i'm going to install version 3.0.0 locally all right so now you have choices you have two choices either you can install this application for currently logged in user or else you can install this application for all users so choice is up to you if you go with this option it will probably ask you for your admin password or admin privileges but i will recommend you to use this only for me so that it will be easier for you so now it is installing the application all right so installation is complete let's click on finish our version 4.0.0 command is under progress so that is also a good thing all right so now since there is no new version release now it's interesting to observe our logs so let's open our main.log file and here you can see we got the message it is saying update is not available and this is our current application version so now we have tested one test case in which there is no update available and our application is behaving correctly all right so now here you can see the new version which is 4.0.0 is now releasing on github all right so this command is also completed successfully now let's refresh our releases section again and here we will be and here we will be able to observe that version 4.0.0 is also released okay so now it's interesting to observe how our application will behave so let's me so let me close our application and let me reopen this application all right so let me search this auto update electron so now before i launch this application i would like to ask you one question if i launch this application will it get auto update to version 4.0.0 or will it not so let me relaunch this application my answer is it will not auto update and let me tell you why but before that let's observe how it behaves all right so let's go here and see okay it is still saying update is not available now you might be wondering we have released version 4.0.0 but why our application is not able to detect version 4.0.0 because currently installed application version is 3.0 so technically it should have get updated to version 4.0.0 all right so you are thinking is right but we have to do one more step and that is nothing but publishing our released version so let's go inside this edit option and publish our released version okay so you will get such type of interface and now you can you can label your application and here you can label your release and here you can put basic information about the new update so you can list whatever the features you have added newly in this release or if there is any fixes you can add that description here so that if anyone is interested to know what is new in this update he'll be able to see that details here 
okay so in our case i'm going to put something really simple so let's say new features edit like that okay and if i scroll it a little bit down you don't have to change anything here just have to click on the publish release all right so as you can see this green sign saying latest so that means our application is published successfully and this is the latest release so now if we open our application now it will detect new release so here you can see in this log file now it is checking for updates and let's see if our application able to detect new release or not okay so now it is saying auto update is available we have subscribed one event which is download progress and that is giving us enough information about what is currently happening in the auto update so you can see this is the percentage value so 51% is downloaded and if i scroll it down 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 so it is 100% downloaded and the last message we got from another event which is this one and new update is downloaded all right now this application will not do anything so we have to close this application manually and we have to relaunch this application to see whether it is updated or not so let me close this application and let's reopen it so now as soon as we launch our application again it will auto update downloaded version and it will show some user interface and if we close that application and relaunch it it will show version 4.0.0 okay so let's wait until it shows up all right so now you can see we got log version 4.0.0 so that means our application auto updated successfully and that's pretty much all we need to do here so let me summarize this quickly so first of all we have created one basic electron application and then we have installed couple of libraries so we have installed electron builder and we have installed electron updater so now this electron builder will help us creating our application build and electron updater will help us updating our build if i go inside main.js file as soon as our application window as soon as our application became ready we have subscribed we said okay our application is now ready let's check for updates so now this particular function is triggering events inside the auto updater library which is checking for new updates all right and then we have subscribed a few events here i can see and and all these events name itself is self explanatory okay so for an example this download progress is giving us progress of the auto update download and after that we have uh, we have configured our github in this build and we also set environmental variable to store our token and that's it we've created two versions version 3.0.0 and version 4.0.0 and we installed version 3.0.0 and as soon as we released version 4.0.0 and we publish it and as soon as we launch our locally installed application it detected new version automatically in a github and then this thing happened that means auto update happened so i hope you have understood this entire process if you have any questions or queries you can ask me in the message box so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye